In life, there are few rite of passages. You will be born. You will pay taxes. You will trap your sim in a one by one box of torture, remove the door, watch as they piss and shit and <laughs> their pants until they succumb to their slow and inevitable demise for your own enjoyment. It's a form of morbid curiosity, much like true crime. In fact, if you tallied up the amount of sims I've unalived over the years, Netflix producers would roundhouse kick, kick down, down my door, door, immediately cast Evan Peters to play me. But what if I told you that even trapping your sim in a one by one box has a fundamental flaw? It can be outsmarted. Is there a way to live a long and probably not fulfilling life within the confines of four walls? Today, I will answer that great philosophical question. Depto does a video on Sunday as well. <coughs> Hello, sinners. It is currently Halloween week when I'm filming this and I decided to go as something truly terrifying this year. So I went to the hairdressers and I said, give me the Eliza pancakes. <laughs> You're such a dick. Every day I wake up in fucking Ohio. I don't like to think outside of the box. I like to think inside of it. I like to fuck the box. <laughs> so the rules are simple. No job, no money, no door, no leaving the walls. And of course, our sim today is none other than Tisha Potato. I don't need the money. I came in for the experience. I did consider playing with Ned Fulmer, but I do not support putting him in a one by one box when the objective is survival. My wife. My wife! Now, what clothes would a person who sees no one, is no one, is completely removed from society wear? Trick question, none. Clothes are a societal construct. What, what if it was, was never invented? invented? I obviously can't make my sim nude without risking the monetization of this video, so just look under there. Underwear. Haha, -ha, made you say underwear. <laughs> In order to give her a fighting chance, I'm gonna give her some useful traits like loner, creative, and schlob. Schlob me knob. <laughs> and I've also given her the fabulously wealthy aspiration. Once we complete that, I will consider this video completed. And I will complete it because I don't take L's. I've never even met that bitch from Stranger Things. And from personal experience as a gamer, I have also never left my house. Suffering alone is within my range of expertise. So I'm going to be really good at this challenge. And of course, the one by one box, or to us Londoners, a luxury studio apartment. I'll send her in and then I'll delete the door like a little rat, rat trap. Rat. You are like a rat scurrying around looking for a food. And then we have it, she's trapped. You're trapped. We cannot escape, we, we cannot, cannot get out. out. And now you may be wondering, how will you survive with no money? Oh wait, I need to give myself no money. <laughs> Hi, poor. Well, the one thing we do have access to is a mobile phone. And with the internet, there will always be a way to make money. I want the money. <laughs> I will make Sims NFTs. Just kidding, I am more interested in crypto. I'm going to make a career out of selling feet pics. Please subscribe to my Tonely fans. I want my house to do my toe sit. I'm selling, I'm selling feet, feet for, the, for square the square feet. feet. Okay, so plot twist, I can't take feet pics without a mirror, so I'll just have to sell selfies until we get our feet off the ground. Oh, that was a jump scare. $30? Oh, and there's the dream face reveal angle. This is your man. Okay, so we have a little bit of money. She could survive three days without food, but three days without perceiving herself in a mirror, she'll, she'll never, never make, make it. it. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Somehow it's still not Tisha, despite the lack of vitamin d she still has a radiant orange glow i think it might still be too small ah! it just sounds like really fucking scary in the mirror we have enough money to expand our box oh, can we shut take the hell up, oh, oh look at those little trotters you pig <laughs> sorry i got her confused with her ex-best friend shane dawson <laughs> Oh, you nasty bitch you're gonna hot box your own farts in there <laughs> there's no ventilation where is it gonna go Oh, I'm rich. I'm rich. I'm a bitch. I actually don't know what the fastest way to make money in The Sims is anymore. I'm an Elon husk of my former self. So I'm just going to throw shit at a wall and see what sticks. I mean, I have a lot of shit. We don't have a toilet yet. I can almost afford to upgrade my camera. And then we shoot in 4K. We get 4K in the bank account. Wait, I think that's it. How much do we need for the camera? <gasps> and we can put filters on... This is a work of art. Call me Pablo Picasso, Vincent Fanto, Michelangelo. <laughs> you know what? I've had an idea. What if I. What was that? What if I. 
<laughs> is this allowed? That's the most we've made so far. <laughs> you know what? If you want me to stop, you're gonna have to kill me. I feel we may have peaked with the photography for now. So I'm thinking we switch up the medium. And if I level up the painting school enough, I can paint from reference. I will become the, the ultimate, ultimate iPad, iPad kid. kid. They'll rename iPads to iChads in my honor. I just realized she's naked. Where is she putting that tablet? <laughs> I put a whole tablet up my ass. Well, she's currently too uncomfortable to paint. I'm in paint without the tea. Okay, I just gotta wait for her to go piss girl. Piss on the floor. I guess I'll buy the food cooler now. Wow, wow she really she ate. ate. <laughs> oh, she fucking stop it. You already stink. It reeks. It smells like an anime convention in here. I mean, who lives inside the walls and has never left Mikasa? Ellen Yeager, but also apparently Tisha Potatoes. And I bet you've never huh? seen them both in the same one by one room. <laughs> Wait, can we paint from reference already? <gasps> we are a small business now. Just call me a sole trader. <laughs> okay, so I actually do not have enough money to start a new painting. So I'm going to have to sell my original artwork, but I will not be defeated. Emphasis on the feet. Think why the f <laughs> that fart was a paid actor. How do we have a poor reputation? Is it because we're poor? For just eight dollars a month, you can help this poor starving woman. Okay, and with that, I think we have enough money for a bed. Yes, the cheapest one is two hundred and ten simoleons. You know what? Cheap rhymes with sleep. And I know the Andrew Taints of the world will say. Rise and grind, sleep when you're dead. No, I, I will, will kill, kill you. you. Tisha is currently hiding from everyone, but as far as I was aware, we have been doing that since the beginning of this video. The loneliness has finally set in, so I'm thinking I might need to find some alternate ways to socialize. Since we can't meet any Sims from the outside world, the next logical solution is to contact Sims from the underworld. It's just the logical next step. And I have a few ghosts in this town. Change your Sims. He's gonna send me a cease and desist letter. A deceased and deceased <laughs> He's not actually dead, he's just cancelled. It could also show up. She just peed on the iPad. I peed. Well, at least we know it's water resistant now. Okay, it's expansion time. Not the Sims kind. There's just been no Sims news. It's been really quiet recently. Other than The Sims 5, also known as Project Renee, Project Renesme, her witness protection program name. You, you nicknamed, nicknamed my Sims, Sims 5 after the Loch Ness monster. monster? But I'm just gonna say it right now, The Sims 5 is not simming the way previous Sims games have simmed before. And you know what? Take it with a grain of salt. It's in very early production and The Sims 4 looked like literal dog shit when it was at that stage as Project Olympus. Project Olympusy. Oh, seeing as the bird app is burning alive, should we go on the bunny app instead? Followers can replace friends. And I have 600,000 friends. Let that be known. You don't have a parasocial relationship with me. I have a parasocial relationship with you. <laughs> Sold to the highest bidder. This Plopsy business is going great. I officially have my foot in the door. I don't, I don't have, a, have door. a door. Okay, she's feeling really lonely. Why don't we summon a dead sim? They spawned outside. Open the door. She's scared stiffer than a cock right now. I'm honestly not too sure if summoning a demon into our house was a good idea. Let's be honest, Tisha would be the bimbo that dies first in a scary movie. <laughs> help me, help me. She's the Long Island medium. <laughs> Guys, she's getting a reading. She's getting a reading. Just kidding, she's illiterate. <gasps> Balls! It's so cute! Oh, Why are we this close to each other? You're like, eating my face! Okay, I think I'm gonna speed through until we have some more sales so that I can expand the house brick by brick. I'm bricked up right now. We have a little bit of money now. I'm thinking we put the box in the sky. Like, what are we staying grounded for? I'm not a fucking treat. <laughs> and also this video is basically the plot of Rapunzel if Rapunzel was bald. She has no means to escape. She is RuPaul Unzel. And also I have decided that this is the Barbie version <laughs> in celebration of the real Trisha giving birth to baby Malibu Barbie. Paytas Hackman? <laughs> That's awful. You know what? Let me just build this off camera. I can't, I can't take the pressure. So you may be wondering, how did I raise her into the sky without her teleporting out of the box? Well, first I tried raising up the original house and using an invisible platform, but that opened up a wormhole to hell underneath the house. So instead I created a second floor, added a ladder, sent her 
there up there and she never left the inside of the walls. So just as a reminder, this is what we started off with and this is what we have now. The Sims team hasn't asked me to build on a pack yet because they're scared that I will blow everyone else out of the water. I will blow every- and I'm thinking we could have her do some landscape paintings on the easel of what she imagines the outside world looks like because she has never seen it. <gasps> dick, dick, dick. Oh my god, okay, thank god it's a Ken doll. My dick fell off! It took her level 10 <laughs> before she has decided, you know what, I actually, I actually quite, quite like, like painting. painting. <laughs> and it's a masterpiece, even though he has lost his piece. <gasps> Should we do our first painting in front of the mirror with the swagglet? <laughs> oh, this is an upgrade. Literally up. We went, we went up in up the, in the sky. sky. You're telling me this is a masterpiece and it's only worth 100 quid give me 200 dollars. i could sell a clump of my pubes for more than that <laughs> we have a sale i wish i could sell off this fucking eye huh? she puts the art in sharp lonely i am so lonely i have a voluptuous body that i sell a lot She's trolling online. I'm serious, serious helps. I don't even think for a second that you're trolling. She really is Trisha Payton. You know what, let's summon the baddest of them all. Let's go bony baby. I look pretty good for a dead bitch. We could romance her. We could bone. Although she does have no lips. How will she get a kiss kiss? Oh my God, shake those bones. She just friend zoned me. Oh no, she's, she's just straight. I can't go to the toilet because she won't leave my house. What are you doing in my house? <laughs> she's looking away out of respect. You're a fucking cunt. We've done it, we've done it. We're halfway there. I'm gonna paint those bony dogs. Give the dog a bone. Look at her eyes. I mean, any hole's a goal. However, I would like a second person in the household. Potentially a child. I'm going to use the wishing well to wish for a child. I wish you well. In, in hell. hell. <laughs> He's told her really true, and she is. <laughs> it's made her infertile. Oh. <gasps> right, let me just put that back in my inventory for now. Hot dog Graham wants to buy a painting of Bone Hilda's hot dogs. Okay, this time I'm not making an offering. Fuck, Fuck you. you. No, now she's just horny. <laughs> This thing's a scam. I'm gonna invest in a money tree cause I am broke. Bur oak. We're expanding, we're going up. Is that a ladder in your tights or a stairway to heaven? And then if we place the planter up here, I can place the money tree, right? It worked. You better work, bitch. I mean, now that we've completed the reserve of money, we can actually spend, or I could just hoard my wealth. <laughs> Wait, I have an idea. Perfect, now somebody might come save me. Help! Me! SOS is also the initials of my channel, and that is because this whole channel is an elaborate cry for help. <gasps> we hit 100,000. Yes. yes, thank you guys so much for 100,000. Keep going. I want you to paint until you have carpal tunnel syndrome in your arm. 110,000. Oh, let's do our daily wish. I'm feeling lucky today. I wish for a child. <gasps> we did it. <laughs> Addison! Addison Ray, I need a bad bleep. Why does my child look like she could be cast in House of the Dragon? <laughs> I mean, you know what they say. Siblings by chance, lovers by choice. Oh my God, she's made a mess. Do you want to go back in the well? If I wished for her, does that make her a make a wish child? <laughs> okay, let's change her name. Malibu Liz Barbie, in honor of the queen who was reincarnated into Tisha's baby. Hey queen. I wanna kill my mom. And look, she's a genius too. She must be adopted. <laughs> I mean, genetically, I don't think the child is Tisha's. That would imply that the child is half Tisha, half well. Oh, she's so cute. Right, let's put this child to work. Get your fucking ass up and work. Do not call CPS on me. They, they can't, can't get, get in the house. house. Come on, mommy needs some new content. <laughs> And then if we just put it on the wall, then we can paint copies of it and sell it for even more money. <gasps> no. <laughs> Absolutely not. And my head hit the Her wall. Booty hole. <laughs> look, she's been drawing. Oh, Stormy, Stormy, you look just oh, like mommy, baby. baby. Look at this. <laughs> Okay, so in the background this whole time, I've been investing in, in Bessing, if you will, Give in Bess. $200. But she's finally come through. I've given her like five grand at this point. Half the monthly earnings, let's see what that is. <laughs> it was worth it. It was all worth it. <laughs> I've just realized that I have loads of satisfaction points. I guess I'm just really good at satisfying. <laughs> so I think if I get creative visionary, and then we'll get marketable as well. And hopefully that will make our painting sell for more profit. <gasps> it's worth so much more. 
I love that Bone Hilda just stayed this whole video. <laughs> That's my emotional support skeleton. I really took I have no body to a whole new level. She has no body. I love that sound. Turn it up. <gasps> Those reward traits were so worth it. I previously did not see as much profit with paint from reference, but I'm going to try again. Okay, so that's a no to the toe. I can hear the comments now. They're so loud. I do not have a foot fetish. And I've I never had a foot fetish. If I, I wanted to have a foot fetish, I probably could have a foot fetish. I am what? Sick. Oh, come on. It's almost 3 a.m. I can finally go to fucking bed. Wait, can I do maths? <laughs> no. no, I thought that was it. Why haven't? Why didn't I get the reward traits earlier? I, I could have been done hours ago. I mean, at least I don't finish quick. <laughs> God, I'm so glad it's a girl. Imagine, what was I gonna do if it was a boy? Mala boy? Who's my muse? I don't know. I guess I'm museless. <laughs> Sorry, I was just moving objects around him. <laughs> It looks like her feet are all backwards. And she's got a sink up her ass. Two in the pink, one in the sink. <laughs> Wait, what am I sitting around for? I can sell a few of these and it's a wrap. That's gonna put me over the edge. I'm on the edge, the edge, the edge, the edge, the edge, the edge. I am a big factory. And with that, we can finally free her from captivity. As a great philosopher once said, if you love something, let it go. If you hate someone, lock them in a box and make them sell pictures of their toe. And I've always said that. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your 30 foot ladder. It's time to fill the wind in her hair, the sand beneath her toes. Sorry, I need to stop talking about fucking toes. <laughs> freedom. I imagine this is what it feels like to be born. This challenge has had such a positive impact on my life. For example, I have not left the house in the 12 hours I've been filming this <laughs> and that was the real story of Barbie Rapunzel Tisha has blonde hair wears pink lives in a tower previously came in a box she came in a box also this video is not Barbie propaganda I, I personally think that Bratz outsold Barbie Ew. Ew. What an interesting artifact. Barbie has a capitalist agenda I know she's a commentary on the patriarchy and that women can exist in any job that a man can do but that does not mean that one woman has to do every job just to be worthy of being in those spaces <laughs> also this video was inspired by ambiguous amphibian and plumbella so make sure you go check out their channels and a special shout out to my patreons anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one or not bye bitch